that time, that time that we need to revisit Campagnolo 12 speed, because I've done a thousand kilometers on it and we need to find out how has it performed, how has it behaved over a thousand kilometers, now it's worn in. But well, we're gonna find out after we write that intro. Well, thanks guys for popping in and wanting to find out a little bit more about the Campagnolo trail speed I have fitted to my look bike. And it's, uh, it's been very interesting. I've, I've got some information, some very detailed information to talk about the Campagnolo trail speed. And I've got some close-ups of the, of the group set. So you'll be able to see what it's like. You'll be able to see the bits and pieces that are on the group set if you're thinking of buying it. And also what I think of it after a thousand kilometers. So let's dive right into it and let's find out what the trail speed's all about and how it's performed once you really have been riding it. Well, let's just do a bit of a recap. What are Campagnolo offering the 12 speed? They're offering the electronic grip set, the EPS, on the ship record and record. And they're also offering some different features on the chorus grip set where you can actually have a bigger cassette on the back that goes from 11 to 34. And you can also have the subcompact on the front, which is a 3832. So they're giving us some quite different options available on the three top group sets that Campagnolo offer. On the Campagnolo new 12 speed, the adjustment for the brake lever here not only releases the brakes, it actually gives you a reduced reach. And I'll just show you and demonstrate how that works. So first of all is we can push it right across, there's three positions. If you release that, that's your brake release position. One click in is your normal reach. One more click in and is your reduced reach if you have smaller hands. I actually have big hands, but I actually like this reduced position. It's, I find it more comfortable. What has Campagnolo done differently with the 12-speed derailleur? Well, actually, there's quite a huge design difference. If you actually look here, you can see the cable housing is a lot longer than the old 11-speed, and the micro-adjustment here is actually mounted very, very low on the derailleur, and the cable comes down to a very parallel type of position. There's also a double hanger setup, so you've got the hanger from the bicycle that's bolted to the frame, and then they've also screw on another drop down hanger. It's almost like a road link, the old uh, road link you used to put on to get uh, more gears on your bike, but this is now included into the derailleur. The jockey wheel housing is also quite long, and the, this gives you a lot more chain and also allows for a wider cassette arrangements on this new 12 speed. The derailleur in actual aesthetics has changed quite considerably. The open skeleton type design of the 11 speed has gone and now it's quite enclosed. It, to me it doesn't look quite as nice as the old 11 speed but uh, what they've uh, saved in aesthetics they've actually done in form factor because this derailleur works very very well. And the back of derailleur sits a lot further back behind the actual axle of the wheel. And as you can see here, it comes a long way forward. So it looks much, much longer in its construction than the older type 11 speed derailleur. The front derailleur has gone through considerable change as well. They've gone away from the three position derailleur they had on the 11 speed where you didn't have any trim in the big ring to a trim in both the big ring and the small ring. And I actually really prefer this. It's nice to be able to trim and then when you push that third trim it drops down nicely onto the small ring and you get far less chain drop with this setup than you do on the old 11 speed. So I'm really liking it and I've only had one chain drop and that was when I was just getting used to it and I was uh, pushing the button all the way over hard but uh, if you do this if you're throwing it right over into the little ring's farthest position and you can possibly get chain drop. So all you need to do is just go through the, the uh, indexing one step at a time and you don't get any chain drop. The 12 speed when I first got it was actually quite noisy because I'm actually running 11 speed front chain rings with a 12 speed chain. But uh, it's actually really settled in now. I've done about a thousand kilometers and the noise is considerably dropped off and it runs extremely smooth. And the whole system, the whole transmission on this bike is really, really smooth. It's uh, uh, the dead crank is really smooth 
and the actual system itself seems to be very, very free on the Campagnolio with the chain. It's just, it's just beautiful. The brakes I didn't upgrade to the 12 speed. The, I've still got the skeleton brakes. I had extra sets, so I whacked them on the bike. And I've had no problem with braking. The Campagnolio red carbon brakes that are fitted to the skeleton have a extreme amount of stopping power. And the, the one on the back is not even a offset pivot gear because on the back you just don't need that sort of power. And on the front I've got the, the offset brake calipers. And these things with these red Campagnolio pads on the carbon, really unbelievable. You can lift the back wheel pretty easy. The modulation is really fantastic. Okay, in conclusion, this is my evaluation of riding the 12 speed over the last thousand Ks. Okay, one, what I'm finding is is that the group set, as Campagnolo always does, it, it wears in. The chains really become quiet. The drivetrain is a lot more free. It actually spins very, very free, especially with the Z2 crank, the look Z2 crank on the bike. It, it's a transmission. Even when you ride the bike, you can feel it's very, very smooth. And one of the other major things that I've noticed as well is the way they've designed the cassette. Like they've got uh, single cog steps, I think, for the first six or seven cogs, and then it jumps like two steps. And you actually, when you're in the small ring, you actually feel like you've got a lot more gears because you haven't got as big a jump as you're getting towards the smallest cog on the back. And this is really, really nice. You can actually tune your cadence in a lot better with this new design of cassettes that they've come out with, Campagnolio. The front change, the front change is really a big improvement that they've done here. The old 11 speed, I really didn't like the front chain. My, my chain used to drop, not, you know, at least once a week. So it, it wasn't that reliable and it actually kept going out of adjustments. That's what used to drop. It actually kept creeping outwards and you had to keep like tweaking it to make sure that it was adjusted correctly. And the 11 speed, I just didn't like this, this no trim in the big ring. It, it just... It just really didn't work that well. Uh, the idea is great because then you can just hit the button once and it will drop into the little ring. I can, I can see the concept. It's much quicker to change the front to chain rings. But in reality, it, it doesn't really work that well. So I really like the way they've changed the gone back to the trim in the big rim and the trim in the little ring. And you can step, step through. And as long as you step, step through the trims, it doesn't drop any chains. And it's been really, really good. So I'm, I'm really liking it. I also like the adjustment on the reach. You can actually just set it so it's got a closer reach, which is how I set it. I actually like it like that. I like the reach to be a little bit closer. And also, if you're someone who hasn't got such big hands, you'll really enjoy this feature. So I do really think it's a massive step up from the 11 speed. 11 speed, it, it wasn't really that competitive with some of the other brands on the market and it was lagging a bit behind, but Campagnolia have really lifted the game. This, this whole group set is really well designed. It changes really well, and uh, it's a lot more crisper as well. It's, it's a little bit more clunky like the old Campagnolia system, systems used to be. The one thing I have noticed is when you're going to an easier gear in the back and you're changing, if you just click it really quickly, sometimes it won't change properly and you have to do micro shifts. So when you actually push the lever in, you need to sort of feel it and you just hold it for a second or like half a second, the pressure on the gear and then it changes every time. So that's the only thing, you can't just sort of tap it, you've got to sort of like press it. And if you press it, the change is absolutely beautiful. So apart from that, really loving it. Um, it's great. I'd chuck my old 11 speed in the bin on the other bike as well. But of course, you know, it's all money and we all not got pockets are that deep but if you are actually looking at this 12 speed i can highly recommend it it's uh, it works really really well and of course you don't have to change your wheels it's the same it's the same cassette spacing on the back so you can just put your old your old um wheels on and your cas new cassettes will fit on perfectly and as i said in the first first impressions the actual cassette is dished on the back to accommodate that extra space so yeah, it's really good, and uh, I'm not finding anything too wrong with it. It uh, seems to be working as advertised, and it's really good, and, and I'm quite enjoying riding it. So guys, that's my, my long-term 1000K review on the Campagnolo 12-speed, and thanks for watching.